here we are. Uh, I realized that I didn't have a, a, a quick uh, recap of uh, my efforts for cutting this internal spline. Um, there she is in all, she, in all its glory. Um, I know I took some stills of it. It's hard to see inside there. Maybe I can uh, give you some fancy position. Oh, there we go. That worked out well. So anyways, um, now... It, it ended up being a lot more pretty right after the millwork was done. Um, but unfortunately, uh, I cut things too close. I made so much of an effort to try and tighten up the fit to the, uh, the spline for the spindle. Oh, by the way, I, I pulled it out. I had to, uh, let's just sink up in there. I had to take this assembly in and spend some time cleaning everything up. Um, the, uh, the, the spline on the shaft was uh, was pretty gnarled in a few spots. You can see some remnants of it uh, there. Get some better light on it. Too good a light. Um, it was pretty beat up. Uh, I'm not too sure exactly why it got beat up in these spots because uh, that would be buried well within the machine. Uh, up here, maybe some tool marks I can understand getting something on there, trying to turn it to force it, something got jammed. But down here, I'm not too sure why. But anyway, sorry, I got some wicked glare there. Um, so what ended up happening was my fit was so tight that uh, I assumed I had some flaws in my in my spline, in, in like my internal spline, and I did. I had to clean it up a bit. There was some filing, some uh, some jeweler's files I got in there, and I hit it with some sandpaper. And uh, what I ended up doing was uh, I marked it. I don't know if you can see, there's a line with a dot, and then over here there's a line, and they correspond to up here and uh the reason why i have two is because well, there were so many flaws I and mean, basically what i was doing is i was taking this i was fitting it right there obviously it fits now, but uh, i was i was fitting it and uh it would it would get held up held up held up held up and uh, i was i was blowing it i was blowing the, the spline and I, i'd run this down get it in there, give it a wiggle, come back out, and I was taking away the high spots. And uh, once I turned my attention to cleaning up the flaws on this spline, things came together. But interestingly enough, let's see if I get this back together. So it uh, fits great there. You can hear that wiggle just a little bit. There's a little bit of play, nothing wrong with that. Um, now if I turn it, it gets hung up. Uh, I can, with a little effort, I can push it down. I shouldn't have to. It gets hung up. Doesn't doesn't get all the way down to the bottom here. Um, I'm not exactly sure what's happened there. And honestly, I, I really don't care. But uh, and if I get back to my original spot, it's weird. <laughs> not too sure what's going on there. But again, it doesn't really matter. Uh, when I assemble it, I'll just make sure this part of the uh, spline lines up. It, it doesn't come out. It's it's always going to be floating in that's in in this part so whatever and this fits I'm surprised that this fits so there's a lot of forgiveness there but uh, the rest of the spots don't mesh up all that well it's kind of odd so anyway you would think the spline would be uniform that's where I'm going with it so anyways this is done uh, I'm at the point now where uh, I'm going to cut my threads that's my next process and then all I gotta do is uh, cut the v-groove for the uh, sheath and uh, I'm done very exciting. Uh, the spline was the hardest part of this project, and now that I've got that done, I can uh, do the easy stuff and get this mill reassembled and start using it again. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, uh, I think tomorrow I'll try to bang this off. Um, the little stuff there needs some uh, needs some tightening up. There's a little bit of a uh, little bit of movement in my uh, my compound. I need to get rid of that before I attempt to cut that thread so i'm at the point now i've got so much time invested in that part i don't want to run the risk of uh getting too excited and trying to get something done and uh, end up blowing up in my face so anyways those that are following along um uh, this is great news i got it right where it needs to be i'm nearly done right around the corner uh thanks for watching guys stay tuned